Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Today we're gonna do something super fun. I saw a picture of this, I think on Pinterest. I can't actually remember where it was, but I tried to figure out what we could do. So they're birch trees. Oops, sorry. They're birch trees. I'm sorry, I just gave them to you upside down. They're birch trees and we used yarn and a piece of foam core and paint. And it was, it was really fun and a Sharpie also. So I'm gonna show you what we did. We took some yarn. Thank you to my sister Teresa once again for giving us all this extra yarn because it's come in very handy. We did this at camp today and it was so fun. The kids loved it. So I taped, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what I did. I taped a piece of yarn down on the backside and then I just started wrapping because this is where we're gonna, it's like a crayon resist, but it's yarn resist. We're gonna paint all the white spots and the the, What's left after I take off the yarn will be the um, trunks of the tree. So you sort of guesstimate how much you want to put on. That much, that's how much I did. Oh, there are the scissors. Okay, I've got to cut off the yarn. And then now I'm ready to paint. So this is what I've done. When I put the paint on, it won't go where the yarn is. And that's how I did on this one. That's how I got the, um, the tree trunks. Now this part is fun. Instead of painting with paint brushes, we're going to dab the paint on using a clothespin and um, a cotton ball. I wish I could remember, it was at someone's, someone said she did it with her kids be, just because it was sort of fun and her kids loved it. So we tried it today and the kids loved it. So on, I have a little piece of plastic here and I put my paint down ahead of time so I can be ready. So I'm, I'm going to do just what I did on this one. I'm going to start with blue up in the sky. And then, ooh, that was kind of a crazy cotton ball. And I'm just going to dab the paint on. If you swish it back and forth like this, you might get it underneath your um, yarn. And then you'd be a little bit sad because you wouldn't have those great tree trunks. So I'm going to keep going and try not to make too much of a mess on here. Oh, I think I'm going to use my fingers after all because my... My clothespin is not working all that well for me. So I'm gonna keep dabbing and dabbing and do this as quickly as I can because I want you to see the whole thing. Now I'm just gonna go down with different colors. I decided to do this sort of, um, I don't know why I did red, yellow, and orange on this, but I like the way it looked. The kids today did all sorts of different colors, but I'm gonna copy the same one I did already. And then I'm going to mix in my orange because I want that to blend with my red. You can see this. I'm going to show you upside down as I'm working down on my page here. This is not actually foam core. I don't even know what this is. Or it's, it is foam core. It's just really thin. So it's kind of bouncing around. The one I used here was a really thick piece. Okay, then I'm going to take one more cotton ball and I'm going to dab on some yellow and I'm going to blend it back in there with that orange part. And then on the very bottom, I want to add some green for the ground. And again, I'm just going to do that. You may get, if you do it the way I'm doing it right now, you're going to get paint on your hands. So hopefully you're okay with that. I don't really mind a mess. But I'm dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And now watch what happens when I take this off. It's so fun. The kids today were so surprised when I showed them what happens after we take off the string, the yarn. It's going to reveal the trunks of the tree. Now you do, there's paint all over this yarn, so my hands are going to be very painty in a moment. I'll do my best not to make too much of a mess on myself. Oh, wait till you see this. It's already looking really good. Can you see that? How the trunks are there. I'm going to pull that piece off, and now I'm done with the yarn. I'm going to throw it in my trash can if I can get to that. And now it looks like this, oh, which is so super fun. Nice, Kate. And then I want to add some leaves because it's not like in the winter when you see a lot of bare birch trees. We're going to do it more, well, summertime, so we'll do summer. But we're going to add some leaves using a Q-tip. Just dab again. Remember, don't use it like a brush. You're dabbing. Today, the kids kept doing that dance move of the dab. When we, Every time I said dab, they were cracking me up. Okay, so now we're going to let that go. 
And if you've ever seen a birch tree, and you know, I think I've only seen them once at, at um, the Grand Canyon. I don't know if I've ever actually seen any other birch trees in my life. Isn't that weird? I see a lot of paintings of them. But I don't think we, I don't, do we have birch trees around here? Do you know, Dorothy? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if I've seen one. I know, it's so weird that we haven't. Um, oh, I did have my Sharpie. So normally I would let this dry all the way, but I'm going to show you. Um, so the the birch tree is sort of a, has sort of like a gray bark, but there are these black lines. It has a very distinctive design. So to do our design, I'm just going to add in some black markers with uh, black marks with my permanent marker. I'm going to keep working on this so that the whole thing fills up just like this one did right here. So see, I went all the way up each of these trunks. That did take a little time, so you have to be patient. Maybe do a little bit and then come back later and do it the rest. If you make one of these, would you send us a picture? You can do it through Instagram by um, at Alameda Arts Fun, and that way we can see it. Ms. Hazel and I love to see your artwork. It would yeah. really make, make us so happy if we could. So I'm going to keep working on this, and then maybe next time you see us, it'll be right up on the shelves behind us. Who knows? Thanks for coming, everyone. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye, friends.